you know, it wasn't just the Chinese students laughing and uh, mocking Timothy Geithner. It was also the gold market. Gold prices were rising as you were holding up your piece of uh, gold there. But the Russians are also causing problems for China, as is Angela Merkel. She said that um, she basically broke protocol and uh, she broke an unwritten rule that uh, national leaders do not uh, publicly rebuke central banks, and that's exactly what she did. She said, I view with great skepticism the powers of the Fed. Well, I mean, the uh, Bundesbank, which is the European Central Bank, uh, really their mandate is to protect uh, their economy from inflation. They're not in the business of artificially cramming down interest rates to create these bubbles that you see in America, thanks to Greenspan and Bernanke. These guys are completely irresponsible uh, bankers, so-called bankers. They're really just shills for a corrupt bo banking oligarchy, and they've co-opted the Federal Reserve and the Treasury to service the banking oligarchy. And Merkel is saying, no, we don't do things like that over here in Europe. We're not a shill of the banking industry. We're supposed to be a counterweight to the banking industry to create a more create more equilibrium uh, in the markets. So, yes, as you pointed out, she reprimanded uh, the U.S. and the rest of the central bankers around the world for having been co-opted and they're basically captive. The Federal Reserve and the U.S., the Treasury, are, are captive of the uh, investment banks on Wall Street who basically um, are treating the U.S. economy like their own private fiefdom. And we're going to be talking with Alex Jones here, I think, in a couple of minutes. He's, his whole feeling is that uh, it's, we've gone to a uh, prison planet. You know, neo-feudalism is back. And well, a Angela Merkel, uh, actually, she said that we must return to an independent central bank policy, meaning Europe, um, and to a policy of reason. So she's saying that the Federal Reserve policy is irrational and without reason, basically. Her outburst was actually a result of the ECB, who she said bowed somewhat to international pressure. And this is just because they're planning to buy 60 billion euros in corporate bonds, which is minuscule compared to what... The, you know, the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank and the Bank of England are 